GMV episode three. Why I don't let people borrow money anymore? Hey guys, welcome to the GMV podcast episode three. Um, today I want to talk about um, borrowing money. Um, I don't really let a lot of people borrow money on a specific people for this reason that I've I've had bad, bad experiences. Um, one of them is that. You let people borrow money and then, but they tell you like, okay, I'll pay you in two weeks, right? Two weeks come, you kind of feel like weird. Now asking them, hey, you know, it's two weeks. Um, can you pay me back? So you don't really, a lot of people, I, I know I, when I used to do it, I, two weeks would come and I'd be like, you know what, maybe I'll let, I'll let him tell me, you know, um, when he's going to pay me back. So then I let it go one week, two weeks, and then maybe three weeks after the due date, you ask them, hey, man, um, do you think you can pay me back? And it feels weird. It feels like um, like you're doing something wrong, you know? It feels like, um, like they're doing you the favor by paying you back. I don't know if you guys ever experienced that, but I hate that feeling. I hate the feeling that I feel bad asking somebody to pay me back weeks after they told me they were going to pay me back and and maybe because i'm not stingy or i know a lot of people feel that way and i oh you know what i hate too when like you you let somebody borrow money right i've, I've done it before i let somebody borrow money and it's a due date and they go on vacation I'm like what the fuck <laughs> you know like me like when i owe money because I've asked for help before, I pay them back usually right like right like on the spot. Cause I hate, or like if I have to, they say I have a bill. I split a bill with somebody right, but um back then, and the due date comes, I send them money right away. Mm -mm. I don't like I don't like um owing money, because I wouldn't like somebody to do that to me. But not everybody thinks the same way as you do, as I do, and so, uh. That's why I stop asking, uh, stop giving out money. And then it'll be months after, and then I'll be like, I just, they, and the, oh, they see you, and they know all the fact that they owe you money, right? So then months after, I would just go like, you know what? It is what it is. Just uh, don't pay me back no more. It is what it is. And I don't know, man. I think the power of the attraction, because, man, usually I come up even better than before. I, I'm a firm believer of, if you do good things, good things come to you. So the more you give, the more you get. But you got to do it like out of the kindness of your heart. Um, but that's what I do. And that's a subject I want to touch today because um, uh, I've seen people like they borrow money and then they just go on vacation. They go buy crazy stuff. And then you're like, hey, hold up. Why are you just telling me that you didn't have money for this, this and that? You know, and, and it makes you feel kind of awkward. A lot of people feel awkward. You're like, so if I try to ask them for my money back, and when you do, they'll be like, oh, I don't got it. <laughs> That's a crazy thing, man. Like, they were like, no, I don't got it. Or this, after you've seen them spend on some crazy shit, you know? Um, And that's the reason I stopped giving, lending people borrow money. Because then, you know, you some you, at the end of the day, most of the time, you're like the bad guy for asking the back. You know, instead of be like, oh, you know what, you helped me out when I really need it, thank you, appreciate it. I mean, there's still a couple of people I would let borrow money because they're on point with it. Like, man, like I have a cousin, my cousin Danny. Um, he's he's been he, I always do I always help him out. Um, you know, like everybody knows who I fuck with, I'm with. So like, like. That's just that's just an example, right? Like how tight I am with them, you know. And there's only like a handful of people would do it, um, because it's hard, you know. And money breaks a lot of relationships too, whether with family or with friends. Uh, that's why we hate doing business with family in a way, because sometimes it gets when if a situation gets kind of awkward. You could go left or right, you know, and I'd rather avoid that, you know. Um, 
that's a weird thing like you should you should be strong with family but you know money does break families um you know they they get um it gets weird you know and um yeah i don't know if you guys have experienced that um i'm gonna start doing like eight minute ten minute podcast not it's not really a podcast right it'll be like uh an episode but i don't know but I'll be testing that out with like 40 minutes, 15 minutes, and, you know, I think in 10, eight and 10 minute subjects, you know, topics, I think I'm, I'm going to start doing that. Um, you guys want me to talk about anything, uh, please let me know. I'm open to all su- suggestions. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, tell me your experiences of, let, of letting people borrow money. Am I the only one who's like, nah, fuck that? <laughs> well, with certain people, though. With certain people, some people I would do it in a heartbeat, but I've been thinking about it, you know. Um, but other people be kind of iffy, and you know, it's just money so so complicated. It shouldn't be. Well, you know, um, this is saying, this is saying, the way you, when people get money, they show you who they truly are. You know, because sometimes when you don't have money, um, you don't feel that um, confident, right? But when the some certain people get money, man, they start acting like they're fucking God, bro. And then that shouldn't be that way, you know, because I feel like when you have money and you're not humble and no stuff, it shows who true you truly are. There's some people I've seen like they treat people dirt, like they don't even look at them. Because they're they're not their status. I've never done that. I treat everybody the same way. Um, you know, if I'm privileged enough to have extra um, income or whatever, I try to help out who I can. What if they ask for my help? You know, or let's say what I've done too is like I've gone to the grocery stores, right? And I see I've seen a couple times where the ladies the the car doesn't go through, right? And I see a whole bunch of people looking at the at the lady or it's mostly ladies I've seen. And and nobody steps up. They just look at them like and the lady's like looking like like this, looking like, oh fuck man, I wanna t-. So what I I've done it a couple of times where I just go and I'm like, you know what, I'll take care of your whole grocery thing. Because you never know, like that could be me one day. I'm up right now. But in the uh, who knows in a couple of years maybe I'm not life's unpredictable so do good things and good things happen to you you know it's, and sometimes you think about it like man should I do it but this and that um, I mean there are scams out there man I've gone to places where um, when I still live in Chicago it was Jimenez on uh, Fullerton and uh, what is that street Pulaski around there um, I went inside there, so you go, you park, and then there's usually people in front of the store when you're walking in. They're like, oh, can you please help me out? Can I get some money, this and that? And I saw this lady one time, right? And then she's like, oh, can can I, to feed my kids, can you give me $10? And there's a, there's a taqueria right there. There's a place to buy food. And then I told her, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to give you money. But let's go inside, you can order whatever you want. Or if you need groceries, I'll pay for whatever you need. And man, that was I was like nineteen when I started like this happened, maybe eighteen. And you know what she tells me? She's like, I didn't ask you for food, I asked you for money. I was like, What the fuck? Well fuck you too, you know? <laughs> and a couple times this happened to me. Um, maybe a couple years ago, um, I was living in Hanover Park. Uh, I went to this little Caesars. I saw, no, I saw this homeless guy crossing the, walking with his cart, right? And it, and it was a, it was a, like, a, it was during the summer, and I was like, damn, I'm about to go to Little Caesars. So I went to Little Caesars, I picked up three, I picked up three or four pizzas. I drove and I saw the guy, so then, you know, I, I went to the parking lot, I parked, and then I went up to him. I'm like, you know what? Hey, man, like, I got this a soda and a pizza. He's like, is that, is that pepperoni or sausage? 
Because if it's pepperoni, I don't want it. I was like, fuck it. It wasn't pepperoni. But either way, like, I was trying to do a good thing. But they, I was like, all right, you know what? It's not. So he didn't take it. I went to another guy that I had seen in that plaza. It was like a Tony's. And then there's like a GameStop, right? So there's like some bushes. And I see another guy. And I told him, hey, man, I got this picture. Do you want it? And he said the same thing. I was like, what the? He's like, come back. No, he's like, no, you know what? Just leave me the money. And I was like, man, I'm not going to do that, bro. <laughs> you know, I'm like, like, I feel like if I was in a situation, I'd be grateful. If I was hungry and people saw me, you know, um, I'd be grateful for whatever they give me. But I wouldn't be picky. And I say, thank you. Give me attitude like that. You know, but, you know, some other people have different priorities. Um... But yeah, what are your comments? Have you guys ever done something good where you're, you want, you just, for me, it just comes out of my heart, you know, when I do stuff like that. But sometimes you don't get the results you, you expect. Um, just tell me about it. And also tell me, have you have, why is your experiences letting people borrow money? You know, good or bad? What, have they stopped you? Do you still keep going? Um, yeah, um. I really like to know if I'm not the only one that feels like that. Like, <laughs> letting part of money is, is kind of difficult, you know, especially like when you're asking for a bag, you feel like you're the bad guy. Um, so, yeah, um, let me know um, what you guys think. And uh, I'm going to start doing like 10 minute uh, episodes of different topics instead of a, a whole long one. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.